a whole me. A side chick. Mm -hmm. The other gender. Fear men, guys. Fear men. <laughs>
that I couldn't date just anybody because a lot of the guys were it was sort of like a competition now like XLR Cray you know like I'll get her let's see if she's easy so at some point I was not liked in high school because I get myself come a whole but it's not that it's just us like I'm not gonna be one of those basic hoes <laughs> sorry guys so um yeah i started seeing this guy and you know it felt genuine it felt real it didn't feel like he was after me because you know you're dating the pretty girl i didn't see it at that time but i later found out after the relationship ended that it was sort of like a bet like let's see if you can get her and well he he did win but stupid him stupid him Anyways, moving on. Oh, my throat is very open, so I'm telling the story. So, I'm not drunk, by the way, guys. This thing is non alcoholic, so zero. Zero! <laughs> so, what happened? Um, yeah, I mean, these guys started seeing each other, everything was cool. We would would hang out i'd go to his school he would come to my school for like social events you guys know most like in high school that's a thing like if there's sports or athletics at one school every other school goes to that school right so that's what we used to do and we used to take advantage of that also as like a, a way to hang out and everything was nice and smooth Nyana, you know <laughs> Ooh, uh, okay so yeah um I think three months later four months later we're still going cool and then um it was so serious guys we even made our relationship public <laughs> so homeboy decided to that time facebook was like the thing right so homeboy decided to post our picture on facebook and i was like okay homeboy is publicly acknowledging me so i guess it's serious like you know back then like if a guy posts you it's like oh my god you know but now we don't care because he might as well have blocked his whole context okay so homeboy posted me on facebook and then i also decided to post you know my person what 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 <laughs> guys i deleted my facebook my old facebook account because of this thing shashi no <laughs> So yeah, I was in love, Kama. Ah yeah, but that was not love, man. I think it was just, you know, that first time thing and also the hype about it. But now that I look back, I'm like... <laughs> okay, so yeah, six months later, we're still going strong. Um, and then homeboy started confirmation classes. <laughs> So at these confirmation classes, I guess that's where he met this specific madame. And they, I don't know if they became friends at first or they just got into it. But mind you, he's dating me. Okay. So he would go to confirmation classes and like, okay, it got really busy because he had now soccer, he had confirmation classes and I didn't really have much going on. I just had school going on. So I had school and then I had netball, but like... I think I had to stop because I became LRC and yeah, long other story. But yeah, so I only basically had my academics going on and homeboy, mind you, had other things going on. So what happened was time was just like conversations would go from like, you know, so high, 100 to just two, you know, and I was just like, okay, what's going on? But then I was also not one person like two. I don't pay my mind too much to things back then. Now I pay attention to little details, little signs. Okay, so it went from good morning to no good morning text, good night to no good night text. And I was just like, okay, what the hell is going on? <laughs> so one day I'm like, okay, we need, um, let's link up. You know, it's been a while. Let's just, you know, catch up. <laughs> I'm, I'm such a big communicator and I love to do it, especially, you know, face to face, just so you can see like emotions, re facial reactions or facial expressions, because anybody can say anything and not mean it. And that's on period. So, <clears throat> homeboy agreed. We meet up at his place and um, what happened? 
so we were chilling 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 and then um i think he stood up to go to the bathroom and this specific girl was calling right so i was like okay uh your phone was ringing he's like who was calling and i mentioned the name and then i was like oh who's she and then he's like no it's just a girl from my confirmation classes wada, wada, wada. and i'm like okay you guys are friends he's like yeah no we are friends she's really nice you should meet her and i'm like now that i think about it i'm like this idiot meet her hmm. okay figure out any i didn't hmm. sense anything nothing and i think the following week after i went to see him um so i think i went to see him on a thursday it was a thursday thursday after school yeah thursday after school and then thursday friday saturday sunday my friend texts me so guys disclaimer i was not on instagram at the time i was only on facebook i just felt like i don't know instagram wasn't really the thing at the time it had just became the thing like not even the thing man like only celebrities were on you know and then until everybody started hopping onto instagram and i was one of the people that also diverted to instagram okay so at the time i wasn't really one of the first people to get on instagram so now homeboy had instagram and the other madam also had instagram fine so my friend texts me on sunday and she's like chummy i'm like yeah what's up she's like no we need to talk i'm like okay cool we can speak i'm free she's like no i don't know how to tell you uh, and i don't know how you react but um your boyfriend i'm like mm, what about him and guys me i'm not that girl come on if you come and say hi hey, i saw your boyfriend way way i'm not the girl that will be like hey you are just jealous of me or what what my friend especially if there's proof ha. yeah so she was like no i'm not sure how to tell you so i'll just send you pictures go on whatsapp so i go on my whatsapp hmm. <laughs> screenshots of a post he posted a picture of the two of them captioned my home with a heart <laughs> guys till now when i see this guy i'm just like mm -hmm. yeah so come on my home so i'm like okay if she's your home what am i and mind you guys we were not arguing we were cool we were like everything was nah it's just that you know there was no longer enough time for us to hang out socialize because he had other things going on but other than that there wasn't an issue okay so when my friend sent me the messages i was now deciding what should i do should i just go quiet on him or should i confront him so i was like so i texted him saying you're home huh with a question mark and then he was like what do you mean and then i was like check your whatsapp so i sent him the screenshots i got then he was like where did you get that and i was like i don't think it matters right now where i got them just explain yourself and then i was just like you think i'm stupid just because i'm not on instagram what are i'm such a dramatic girl wow okay so um homeboy by the way didn't reply i guess he was embarrassed or what men don't many do men ever get embarrassed do they ever acknowledge like i messed up i don't think so because yo i am yeah so homeboy went quiet on me and then he texted me later during the day like can we talk and i'm like talk about what if you don't want to clarify what i just showed you or the pictures i just sent you and he's like no you're misunderstanding it you're so raw um who sent it to you what 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 your friends don't even like me and mind you my friends really didn't like him like they were just like mm, this guy but you know most when your heart wants what it wants you end up going for him and your friends eventually just have to accept so he's like no you even know that your friends don't like me this is not true what 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 and i'm just like how is it not true if it's something you posted so i did my little research and i found out this is the famous girl from the confirmation classes the so-called friend so i was told these people are best friends and i'm like best friends so you need another girl to be your best friend you couldn't ask me to be your best friend or we couldn't be best friends so what a one 
then he's like yeah no you are just tripping unnecessarily so i'm like you know what shut i'm tripping me the one thing i don't like me is a man invalidating my feelings and making me feel like i'm crazy and making me feel like what i'm saying is wrong and yeah i will leave you alone so when he was like yeah you are you are misunderstanding what 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 i was just like listen peace I moved on with my life. I deleted his number, and now, till today, me and that guy have not had that conversation. Which are what happened or what? But mind you, guys, two months later, the people are still seeing each other, dating, posting confidently on Instagram. They even went to my trick farewell together. They even posted their confirmation pictures together, and I was just like, yeah, ne. I'm overthinking it, ne. Imagine if I was stupid and I believed his story. This guy was gonna date the both of us at the same time. So I don't know when their thing started. I don't know if it started while we were together or it only started after I left him. But this guy clearly was trying to have a taste of both worlds. And I'm so grateful to God that he showed me his real colors before I got into it deep because me now my heart is stubborn. I don't just mm -mm. <laughs> Give me zero. Take me to the principal's office. So, yeah. Hmm. I ended it with homeboy. And a few months later, I see the people are still together. Posting each other nicely on Instagram. I mean, I must move on with my life. I don't have time. So, yeah. And then that's also later when I found out that it was a bet. <laughs> and I was just like, wow, men are shameless. So, ever since then, I've been really protective with myself. Even just like the men that come in my life. I've been just like very picky. I don't want people that are just after like my physical, you know, like I know I'm a beautiful girl. <laughs> oh, very cocky. I sound very cocky, but it's true. I am beautiful. I am. And so are you, babes. So are you. So like I'm looking for, okay, I'm not looking anymore because I have a man's now, but like the one thing that stands out for me in a man is a man that's not that's more interested in my mindset that finds me you know that i can have intellectual conversations with and finds that you know stimulating that is not after my physical appearance and is after my heart what is in my heart and you know just those little things for me a lot of guys think beauty is enough it's not it's not and that's where you guys go wrong you go for girls that are good for your looks and not good for your heart so uh, yeah guys um that was my story on how i was a side chick imagine a homie a side chick yo that was the first person that that actually made me feel like is something wrong with me but then i was like immediately i snapped out of it and i was like no jesus no Baby girl is created in his image and is whole, is complete, lacks nothing. How people treat you and how they behave has nothing to do with you but more with themselves. They are fighting constant battles with themselves so they constantly feel the need to project that loneliness, that hurt, that incompleteness on others. And me, one thing I refuse for anybody to project that on me. So yeah guys if you like this story time it was quite short but like this is my first story time i'll try and do better let me know in the comment section if you guys would like to hear how i almost got robbed <laughs> Ooh, the streets of windhoek let me know in the comment section if you guys would like to hear the story on how i almost got robbed if you like this story please give it a thumbs up please do share take a snippet and share it on your social media platforms so that we can attract more audience to our youtube channel thank you guys and i'll see you guys in the next video Mwah.